Hidden in a small valley surrounded by dense forest and jagged mountains lies the ancient Edo village of Okawachiyama, a place known as the village of the secret kilns. Join me as we take a walk through here during twilight. Here you can see the broken pottery that they've used to create pathways. Here we can see a full map of the village. And you can see just how jagged some of these mountains are. It truly is a, a hidden valley. We'll start by taking a walk down the main street. This place is full of old porcelain pottery shops. This town was obviously first established in the Adol period in the 1600s. Old chimneys for the kilns. I love all this moss. Always get excited about mossy stones. The forest up here is just so cool. It's cool for an Australian because you know we really don't have anything like that in Australia. It's all very arid and scrubby. This swimming pool definitely looks abandoned to me. Yeah. <laughs> it is the ruin. Green water. Love that colour. Nice blue. Retro. This town was built in the 1600s by the Nabashima clan, which is a, which was a samurai clan. They enslaved Korean potters from Korea, kidnapped, and sent them to work here. This place was hidden from the rest of Japan in fear of uh, having their techniques stolen. Everything you see here was a secret. One day, a Korean slave tried to escape here and was caught in the mountains. Because obviously the mountains here are so jagged and difficult to, to climb. He made three more attempts and on the fourth attempt, he was successful. He escaped to Kyoto. And when he was in Kyoto, he found work as a potter. And he was making porcelain in Kyoto with the methods that they used here. Now that the secret was out, some samurai of the Nabushima clan happened to be in Kyoto. And when they were there, it's when they saw this porcelain being made. 
almost identical to the one that was being made here. The samurai made some inquiries and they found the escaped Korean slave. They found him, brought him back here. And during the time, there was a gate that made this valley unenterable for anybody that wasn't allowed in. They took him to the gate, decapitated him, left him there as a warning for anybody else willing to escape. This cemetery here is actually dedicated to the Korean slaves that were enslaved here. And in many ways, those Korean slaves are the forefathers of modern porcelain pottery in Japan. This is the most famous place in the whole country for pottery. And it's thanks to them that we have it today. This is one of the most peaceful places I've been in a long time. You can see just how old these graves are. Incredible. I want to make my way across this bridge. Keep exploring. That bridge looks old. I wish I could read Comfy though. I can probably read what it says. This bridge up here is totally made of porcelain. Well, the outside of it, the decorative parts. Exploring these places at twilight is always good fun or early morning explore this street. Beautiful old buildings. People are lucky to live here. I'm sure the people that live here have been here for generations. Beautiful old shops. Let's head up this street and see what we can find. Beautiful. Stunning. I think that deserves a picture. 